Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst lush green mountains, there lived a Zen master renowned for his wisdom and serenity. People from far and wide sought his counsel and guidance on matters of life and spirituality. Among his many disciples, there was a young and enthusiastic student named Koji. Koji was diligent in his practice and had a genuine thirst for knowledge. He would spend hours studying the scriptures and contemplating the mysteries of existence. One day, he stumbled upon a rumor circulating within the village. It involved another monk, Brother Takeshi, who was known for his austere lifestyle and devotion to meditation. Excitedly, Koji approached his master and said, Master, have you heard about Brother Takeshi? There are rumors spreading about him. They say he broke his vows and engaged in worldly affairs. This is a grave matter, and we must take action. The Zen master, sitting peacefully in his modest hut, listened attentively to Koji's words. With a calm expression on his face, he replied, Is that so? Koji was taken aback by his master's response. He expected a reaction filled with concern, outrage, or perhaps even disappointment. But the master's reply seemed indifferent and nonchalant. This confused Koji, and he thought the master did not fully grasp the gravity of the situation. Master, Koji said, his voice tinged with frustration. This is a matter of utmost importance. We must investigate and bring Brother Takeshi to justice if these rumors are true. The Zen master, unperturbed by Koji's growing agitation, simply repeated his earlier response, Is that so? Feeling exasperated, Koji exclaimed, Master, you don't seem to understand the seriousness of this situation. We must act. The Zen master looked deep into Koji's eyes, his gaze steady and unwavering. With a gentle smile, he said, Before we judge others, we must be aware of our own faults. Reflect on your own journey, Koji. Are you free from mistakes and missteps? Koji was silenced by his master's words. The truth of the statement struck him deeply. He realized that he, too, had made errors along his path. He had been judgmental and had let his ego cloud his perception. As days turned into weeks, Koji contemplated his master's teachings. He recognized the wisdom behind the master's response of is that so. It was not a dismissal or indifference but an invitation to reflect and cultivate self-awareness. Gradually, Koji began to understand that passing judgments without understanding the full picture was an act of arrogance. He learned that everyone had their own struggles, their own demons to confront. Instead of condemning, he should extend compassion and understanding. With this newfound understanding, Koji went to visit Brother Takeshi. He approached him with genuine curiosity and a compassionate heart. In their conversation, Koji discovered that the rumors were false, mere products of gossip and misunderstandings. Brother Takeshi had remained steadfast in his dedication to his spiritual path. Koji returned to his master, humbled and grateful for the valuable lesson he had learned. He bowed before the Zen master, who nodded approvingly. Koji realized that the master had not been indifferent but had offered him an opportunity for growth and self-reflection. From that day forward, Koji adopted a more humble and compassionate approach to life. He understood that his journey was not about seeking faults in others but about recognizing and addressing his own shortcomings. Whenever faced with rumors or judgments, he would remember his master's words, is that so, and seek understanding before passing any judgment. Koji's transformation became an inspiration to others in the village. They saw his peaceful demeanor and compassionate nature, and many sought his guidance in their own spiritual journeys. And so, the wisdom of the Zen master's simple response echoed through the village, reminding everyone to look within themselves before casting judgment upon others. The story of Koji and his master became a timeless reminder to approach life with humility, understanding, and a willingness to embrace the complexities of human existence.